The first thing we're going to do to make eggs benedict is cut the croissant. I got my trusty bread knife. And I'll put this over here on the plate. Like that. Now, I'll get the water ready to um, do my crochet. I'm just putting some water in the pan. Now all I got to do is stir it up a little bit. And then we'll bring the water to the boil. And I will let you know I'm good at repurposing kitchen gadgets to use for other ways of cooking. Like for example I am going to be cooking my um, poached eggs in, can you see it, a soup ladle. That way they will hold its shape. I'll be back once the water is boiling. While the water is getting boiling, I will be chopping up the chives. Yes, I'm going to use the chives in my eggs, Benedict. I'm totally switching up the recipe entirely. Stay tuned. You see my changes. I'm going to be showing you how I chop up my chives. I use scissors to do it. And this is all I do to do it. You can use a knife if you want. But to me, I find this is just as easy as a knife. And just cut them. I try to get them all the same size. But that's all you gotta do. Some people prefer using a knife. I prefer using scissors. It goes just as fast. That's how I do it. Be back in a few. Now I will crack the egg into the soup ladle. Yeah, you never thought about holding an egg to poach. But yeah, it looks good for that. Now all I'm doing is waiting for the water to boil. Now since the water is boiling, you want to drop it down to a simmer. And then you're going to take the ladle a real low simmer. Wait till it gets down to a low simmer. Then what we'll do is we'll slowly put this in. And yes, I'll be timing it four minutes and a half. Just gently putting it in. I sprayed the ladle with Pam so it won't stick. So now I'll gently lower it. That way it's contained. And we time it for four minutes since it was in about 30 seconds already I'll be back when it's done it's still cooking what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a knife and lift it up a little bit to just gently loosen it to make sure that it's loosened so it don't stick it shouldn't stick it's perfectly loose because you can see it's almost floating and I'll be back when it's done now it's time for me to take it out of here see that it's floating I drain off some of the water 
and you can see I'm draining some water off. That's what my poached egg looks like. I'll get another angle for you to see. That's what my poached egg looks like. So, that's all you gotta do for making the poached eggs. Hello, I'm going to juice a lemon. All I'm going to do is cut it. And then juice it. Here's my juicer. All I got to do is juice it. I'm actually going to be making two versions of Eggs Benedict. And neither one is going to be exactly like the original recipe. The only thing that I have in common is eggs and hollandaise sauce. Everything else is going to be switched up totally. So. I'll be back after I'm done juicing this. I'm back. I juiced two lemons and I got enough lemon juice to make the sauce. I'll be making the sauce in a minute. Like I said, I'm switching up the recipe. I am going to be adding a couple things different to the recipe. The first thing will be I'm adding some mild guacamole on the Kaiser roll. I shouldn't say Kaiser croissant. The croissant roll. And then instead of the Canadian bacon I'm actually using smoked turkey lunch meat. Yes, you heard it right. I'm using smoked turkey. You can actually use your leftover Thanksgiving turkey for this too. You just put the turkey on it. And I, I like a lot of turkey on it. I got one slice there. I'm going to add another slice. They cut it a little bit thinner than I liked it, but that's okay. Try to flatten it out for you so it looks better. And now I will cook the poached egg and plop that on it and then put the honey sauce on it. Yes, I didn't forget about the chives. It's upcoming. Be back in a minute. Now all I'm doing is adding the poached egg to it. Next step is making the holiday sauce. I'll be back in a few. Now, I'll be making the sauce. I never did this before, so this is the first time for me. First of all, I'm dumping the three yolks into the blender. Okay. Get them in the blender so they blend. And get all the egg yolk in there. Okay. Now, it said to add the cayenne pepper, which I'm adding. Mine would be a heap and a teaspoon to it, because I like a little heap. And I'm going to be adding. a tablespoon of a tablespoon of lemon juice and we'll whip that on high. And at the end we'll add the butter. So this is a half tablespoon, but I'm adding a whole one. I might as well add a little bit more than that. 
I'll add one and a half. And I'll cover it and blend it. They said over medium for 20 seconds. pepper didn't stir up quite well so I have to get in there and you have to whip it until it's light butter slowly on a lower speed. So I'm going to take it down to low. too thick but it turned out good so no now all I gotta do is pour it over my sandwich let me taste it to see how it tastes to see if I need any more lemon juice let me taste it to see how it tastes It tastes pretty good. Now all I gotta do is get my sandwich over here. And I'll put it over. Here. I'll just pour it over my sandwich. I'll show you. I'll switch the angle so you can see what it looks like. Now, I'm just adding my chives to it because I like chives with eggs. Mm -hmm. That's what it looks like. Please like and sh share and subscribe. Thank you.